hello guys welcome to solving solutions on the channel where i get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been on today's tutorial we are going to show you how to split vector layers so that um, we can have each of the fields that are inside of that vector layer to be separately exported so we have this vector layer that contains some state boundaries that are joined together in um, a single shapefile and then you can see based on the id we have um, different names for them right good so what we want to achieve is that we just want to export them out so that each of the states what will be separate on their own right good so it can be for the administrative boundary of a country or maybe that of a state showing to local governments or whatever the case is so for us to achieve that let's come to the geoprocessing and then we search for split so we have um, split by attributes right so it splits the input data set by unique attributes right so the unique attributes will definitely be maybe the names of the local governments or the names of the states or the names of those um, unique um, entities that are in that composite um, vector data right so the inputs will definitely be the ecs we have here and then for the target um, workspace we are going to navigate to the folder where we want to save it good so we are on a js pro split folder and then shp so let's um, open that up so we are going to save the exported ship files inside of this folder right and then now the split field this um, is the field on which the input will be split into new feature classes or tables right good so what do we want to use we actually want to use the names right good so it gives you an opportunity to have multiple fields selected right good so let's um, go with only the name and then we just add having set that up we can run it has been successfully executed right good now it did not load it so let's go to that folder we just created okay this is um, arcgis pro this is a um, split vector and then this is the shp you can rightly see that these are what the individual um, states or the individual attributes that we have inside of what our composite um, attribute table here yeah? so we believe and um, we have shown you how to use what this split by attribute um, tool on an um, pro that helps you split a vector data based on the attribute into different vector data that are inside of the composite data so we are going to see you on the next tutorial. Ensure you keep staying safe and have a fantastic time. Bye.